right. Hey guys, I am back again today and today I want to do another, um, I've been working on some more key fobs. So I've been working in, um, the Embrilliance software this morning. So I already, if you see up here, I already have a couple pages open. Um, I was working on a B and I actually just put this cute little B on, um, a lovey blanket so um, I'm gonna be getting pictures and getting that put up soon and then I have um, this one that says baby on it and I actually want to put this on another lovey um, because I think it would just be really cute so um, when you're in brilliance if you go up to the top where it says file if you not file but this one sorry If you go here and click on this, it will shoot up a new page for you. So, um, so I'm on this page. I'm just gonna go over here because I already have this one ready to go. So I want to import what I wanna put on this and I'm gonna go up here to the needle. It's gonna open up where I have all my images and I am going to go into where it says, let's see. Hmm. Animals. Part two. PES. There's my bears. And uh, which one was I going to do? I think I was gonna do the owl today. So here's our owl. Cute as a bug. And then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna hit import and it's gonna put it right into our, our design here. Um, I apologize, I am not great at doing videos of online here but anyways so this is super cute now I'm just gonna say this right now I love using embrilliance because I being new at embroidery and how this whole thing works it's got some really nice features for a new person so if you come up here to the side you can click on the plus and it gives you a detailed list of how all the stuff is going to be stitched out in order that can be moved around. Um, I've done it like once, so I'm not really great at it. So if you come up here to the top and you click on this, ah, I love this. You can move the speed down a little bit. Then we can hit play. Now look at this. It gives us the stitches. So we got our tack down. It looks like we're going to do a wing. So cute. I absolutely love this that I get to see how it's done. So it kind of helps me when I'm doing um, thread colors. If I forget what thread I'm supposed to be using or you know what color because I don't print any of this out. Um, I can just come up here and see. So, all right, so it looks like we're gonna do the tack down, and then we're going to do the wings and the brow, then the talons, the nose, the eyes. And let's see here, do, 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 do. Oh, I love this, I love this, I love this. And then the outline, the final placement. All right, that's it, and then you just save it, it goes onto your flash drive and you are good to go from there. So we're gonna go over to the machine and we're gonna get started there. All right. So here we are. We're back over at my machine area and I'm gonna put my flash drive in there.
So I have to give some thanks to everybody. Nita Fajita, first and foremost, Cindy Makata, um, Angelina, Jasmina. I have watched every single video that they have done. And I have drawn so much inspiration from them. And it's just, it's helped. I'm part of uh, Nita's um, embroidery and small business group on Facebook. Um, so much help there. Absolutely phenomenal group of people that have helped me last week and this week. And I cannot thank you guys enough. All right, we should have just enough thread on there. So we are going to load up our embroidery hoop with a stabilizer. Okay, make sure it's tight. Put it on our machine. And we're gonna do the owl, which you just saw. So I've already got it picked. I'm setting it. I am not changing the size or anything on it. So it looks like it's a 14 minute stitch and it's about 5,500 stitches. So I got this key fab pack from Itsy. Hey, look at that. The light's just right. I can see a little string stick out. And these guys are so cute. Look at this. So I have done the hippo, uh, the cat. Let's see, where's the other one at? I've done the elephant, and I absolutely love them. I've done these three in rose gold faux leather just because I think they pop and they're just, they're so stinking cute. They are kind of large, but I think these would be great for a backpack for going back to school or, um, you know, a zipper pouch or on the binder or something. And I was thinking, you know, you could even go as far as to put, you could uh, Sharpie your kid's name on the back um, if requested, I could actually put their name on the back or their initials. Um, isn't that cute though? Put these on the lunch boxes, uh, zipper pulls. I think these would be great. I have put them on a keychain circle though, because I as much I do have clips, but for a little kid, I think putting it on the key ring is so much better because I think it'll stay longer. They do have the snap tabs and these things are in there and they're tight. They're not going anywhere. So these three I did in rose gold, like I said, super cute. I have a bear that I did in a tan. I hope you can see that. And then I have this cute little bunny rabbit. Did that one on white. Um, so in the regular colors, they're so super cute. Okay. And then we have them in these. So I'm gonna do my tack down stitch now and then I'm going to stop, pull it out, put some basting adhesive on it, throw my rose gold on it, and we're gonna get started. Should be a really fast. Um, yeah, let's just go. I remember when I was younger, I told stories to my mother.
so we have the thread changed and right now it's going to be stitching out the uh, beak and the talons and we've switched over to a gold color which pops really well on the rose gold uh, faux leather. Our little guy is all done and now I am just going to trim it out. Um. guys so if you check it out um, I went ahead and finished out the stitches and um, I went ahead and pulled it off removed the stabilizer gave it a trim trimmed up all the jump stitches I think it turned out really cute super cute and I think that this would look really cute on a backpack or a uh, one of the zipper binders, um, a lunch pail, even a coat or a jacket for a small kid, you know, zipper pole for kids. Um, we could put the name on the back, embroidery initials, you can write the name on. Um, these can be made in the colors of your choices and just they're just super cute so uh, what I have so far is I have the owl the elephant 
the hippo, which is, oh my gosh, so cute. One of my favorites. Um, the kitten. Isn't that cute? That kitten is adorable. And then I have, just in regular faux leather, you have the rabbit. So cute. We're just going to throw these up here. We will check all these out here in just a second. And then, of course, we have the little bear. And I'm going to do one of these bears, and I'm going to do the rabbit on the rose gold full leather because I like the way they look. I think that it looks really cute. And Thank then, you again, all of you, so very much for all of the support that you have been giving to me and helping me grow my channel so far. I do appreciate it so very much. God, I just love this one. I so do appreciate it so very much. So um, if you could be so kind as to remember to give this video a, we'll go through my workstation while I'm talking. Give this video a thumbs up because I know that it helps. And if you could also subscribe, share my video out, that would be great. Maybe the next video will be tutus. All right, guys, this is Sherry. Thanks again for watching. I do appreciate it and have a great day.